Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Medzone African Motives. Uh, in this platform, we shall be focusing on uh, question number three, which is uh, from November uh, 2016 paper. There is actually these typical questions that I want us to work on together uh, for members. But uh, if you are on membership, you can be able to see this video, and uh, that's for you guys. Uh, so without wasting much time, I'm going to quickly rush through the questions that we are given. Uh, the first part on 3.1 was to solve for x by completing the square. Take note, you are given the method, complete the square. All right, so this is what we are going to do in this question. I'm just going to write it down here. So this is 3.1. We were given negative 18, negative 8x squared is equivalent to 9x. Uh, remember that if you are dealing with the uh, completing the square method, you must have your equation written in this format, ax squared uh, plus bx plus c is equal to zero, where this coefficient of a is supposed to be one. So a is supposed to be equal to one. Okay, so let us try to rearrange our equation. So we're gonna start with the negative x squared. So it will be negative x squared. We transpose nine x to this side, it's going to be negative nine x already. 18 is on this side and it's a negative 18 and that's equal to zero. Okay, uh, we can see that the coefficient of x squared is a one, it's, that's negative one. So for us to have it as a one, like this part A to be one, we have to divide by negative one, each and every term we divide by negative one. So by dividing by negative one, this is going to give us x squared, divide by negative one, this is going to give us positive nine x, Divide by negative one, this is going to give us positive 18 is equal to zero. Zero divided by a number remains as a zero. Okay, so this is the question now that you're asking yourself, how are you going to complete this square? Okay, there are so many ways that you can do, but what is important is to show the stages that you are uh, representing clearly. Okay, so at this stage, you can transpose, first you can transpose 18 to the other side of the equation, or you can just leave it like that. Okay, so I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. You can leave it like that, or you can transpose it to the other side of the equation. That's for you, okay. But what is important is this, to find half the coefficient of x. So we're going to find half the coefficient of x. Remember, this is x, and the coefficient of x is the number that is affecting x, that is nine. So half of nine, then that half, when you find it, you square that half, okay? So half of nine, that's nine over two. Then you square this half like this, okay? So please bear in mind what I'm going to do at this stage. You're going to add this square on the expression that we have, which is going to be x squared plus nine x. You add the square, which is plus nine over two squared, okay? We have added something that was not part of the equation. So for us to normalize our equation, we are going to subtract that same number that we added. So we're going to subtract nine over two squared. Then we add our 18, we equal to zero. So uh, that's when we just choose to remain with 18 on this side. Okay, now this is what is going to happen at this stage. We are going to factorize, but for you to factorize, you factorize from this x squared up to the square that you added at this point. So this stage, you are going to factorize it. But how do I factorize this? Do not worry about this, guys, how to factorize. You just consider the first term, which is x squared, and the last term, which is this 9 over 2. You combine those terms together in a bracket like this. So it's going to be x plus nine over two squared like this, you have completed the square. Guys, please take note at this stage. Okay, the rest is you and your calculator. So you're going to combine these terms together. So that's a uh, negative outside of the bracket. Then we've got nine over two in bracket. So this is going to be nine over two. So that's nine over two, sorry. So it's gonna be nine over two in bracket squared then we add 18 like this, and this is going to give us negative nine over four. So we are going to obtain negative nine over four is equal to a zero. Okay, so what, how can I do, what can I do actually to solve at this stage? Uh, you can transpose, as you can see, negative nine over four, we can transpose this to the other side of the equation. So it is going to be nine over two squared is equal to 
positive 9 over 4 since it was a negative here. So it is going to be positive. Okay, so the question is, how do I remove this square that I'm giving you? There's a square here. So how do we remove this square? We introduce the square root both sides. Knowing that the square root of any number is a plus or minus. So that means we're going to have our answer as x plus 9 over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 9 over 4 that you can use on your calculator. All right, let me just share the screen, guys, so that you can see the calculator. I can see that I didn't share the whole screen. Oh, did I share the screen? Okay, I hope you can see the calculator. So that's the square root of nine over four, like this, and that's three over two. So we're going to have plus or minus three over two. From this stage, we can transpose, since we want to calculate for X, we can transpose the part that is uh, nine over two. It's not part of, it's not actually affecting X, so you can transpose to the other side, so it's going to be a negative. So X is going to be equivalent to minus nine over two, plus or minus three over two, which was already there, all right. So from this stage, what does it mean? There is a plus and there is a minus. So you're supposed to separate these two signs. Okay, so this is what you're going to have at the end. We are going to separate these two signs. So that means we're going to have X, which is equivalent to minus 9 over 2. So you're going to have minus 9 over 2. We start with a plus. So it is going to be plus 3 over 2. Or another X, which is equivalent to the same minus 9 over 2, but this time we are subtracting. Remember, it was plus or minus, so it would be minus 3 over 2. So X is equivalent to what? So if from your calculator, you can simplify this. Minus 9 over 2 plus this over 2 is going to give us minus 3, or the other part is going to be minus 12 over 2, which is minus 6. So these are the two possible values of X that we can obtain from this quadratic equation that we were given. So what you can do is to try, as you can see, it gives us direct numbers. You can try even by factorization to prove your answers. You can try also by quadratic formula to prove your answers so that you can see if you're having the same thing. All right, so that was 3.1. Okay, we're going to move on to 3.2. Uh, 3.2, it's a direct type of equation where you just need to play around uh, these uh, weight problems, just have to play around them. We are given that there are 302 residents in a town. Okay, so this is a town that has got uh, 302 residents. Okay, they are 34 more women than men and 60 more children than women. How many women are there? So if you are to take our, we are asked to find how many women are there. So, okay, let me do this. Uh, we are given that the total number of people that we have is... 302. Okay, so this is the total of everyone. And we are asked to find the number of women. So which means we are supposed to write our answers in terms of women. So let's just say uh, women, okay, women is equal to W. So W represents women. Okay, then we've got men, okay, which is we just say it's represented by M. But we want to write these men that we have in terms of W because you need to find the number of women which are there. So leave your answer in terms of W. So let's express the number of women of men in terms of women. We are given that here, take note guys, there are 34 more women than men, which means the women that we have, it's equivalent to 34 plus the men that are there because it's 34 more. But as we want to write, this expression for M in terms of W. So M is equivalent to W minus 34. You transpose 34 to the other side, you remain with M. So M representing men is equivalent to W minus 34. So this is the expression for, for men in terms of W. So men is equivalent to W minus 34. Okay, let's go to the children. We are given the children in this case Let's just say this is uh, children, which is C. So I want to see how can we write children in terms of W. Okay, how many children are there? And here we are given that on this part, and 60 more children than women. So which means for us to find the number of children, the children is going to be 60 
plus the women which are there because we are told that they are sickest the more so more you end okay so which means the c representing children it's sickest plus w okay so these are the children that we have which is 60 plus w or w plus 60 it's just one and the same thing okay so as we can see we have written our expressions in terms of w women is w men it's w minus 34 children it's w plus 60 but all of these people that we are given they are equivalent to the total which is 302 so if we are to add everything in this case sorry for this guys if we are to add everything okay i hope you can see now we must obtain 302 okay so let's add everything that's the women plus the men, of which men, it's W minus 34. So W minus 34 plus the children, of which children is W plus 60. This must give us the total of 302. Okay. So this is just the same as 1W plus 1W plus 1W. So 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 3. So we're going to have 3W here. Then we add minus 34 plus 60. All right, um, uh, 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 sorry guys, there's supposed to be an equal sign here is equal to 302. Okay, so you combine these two numbers, uh, negative 34 and positive 60 in this case. Okay, so you add these numbers, you're going to obtain something like 26, which is equal to 302. So to find W, we can transpose 3W is equal to, if I transpose 26 to the other side, it is going to be 302 minus 26 which is something like 276 so now you can divide by three by three both sides so that we can have the value of w in this case so if we divide by w uh, by three our w is going to be 92 so therefore there are 92 women okay there are 92 women in this group that we are given so because w is representing the number of women, just like what we indicated, women is W. So if you find the value of W, you are finding the number of women which are there or the number of women which are present at that moment. All right, so that was the question. Um, the, just like that. Okay, on 3.3, .3, we are now given to find or to calculate the value of N if P is equal to 2000, uh, W is this and that, okay. So uh, what you just need, since you are calculating the value of N, just make N the subject. That's the easiest way that you can do. Uh, I trust this way. 3.3, .3, so I'm just going to make N the subject. PV to the exponent of N is equal to C uh, from, your, uh, from your engineering science. You know, this formula, or um, if, uh, if you're doing power machines, unfortunately, this is N3, but engineering science, yes, so you know this formula or gas laws there. Okay, anyways, is we are not about that. So we want to make any the subject. So remember, if you're given this condition, you can actually introduce logarithms or you can introduce lean. Take note, introducing log or lean, it's one and the same thing. You can choose either one of these, okay? But before that, let's get rid of the P because P is actually just multiplying. So how can we remove this P, which is multiplying? Divide by it both sides, you divide by P v to the exponent of n is equal to c over p now we can introduce our logarithms both sides remember if you introduce a log it's a log here and it's also a log on this side okay so that's what it actually looks like okay so i hope you understand what i just indicated there so that's what you're going to have at the end so we're going to have the logarithm here and also the logarithm there now the question is what am I going to do if I introduce the logarithms? Okay, there is this important law that you're supposed to take note or to get rid of. If you are given the logarithm of P log M like this, you can write this as log M to the exponent of P. So that means if a log is affected by an exponent like this, you can drop the exponent just like what we see here. It's P times log M. Just like any here is an exponent. So you can drop this exponent to multiply the logarithm. So this is going to be any log V is equivalent to log C over P like this. Okay. Of which you can apply the laws of logarithms. You can subtract log C minus log P or you can leave it like that because all you need is to find N. 
Now you can see that n is multiplying. So to find n, you divide by log v both sides. You divide by log v both sides. So this can cancel. So therefore, n can be written like this. n is equivalent to the logarithm of c over p, everything over the logarithm of v. Where now you can substitute, remember the purpose of making n to be the subject is because we want to calculate the value of n. So what we need now is to simply substitute the values. So it's log c over p. What is the value of c? Uh, Our well, c in this case, we've got 18 comma three. P is 2000, so it's going to be 18 comma three over 2000. So this is what you're going to have log c, which is log 18 comma three over 2000 like this in bracket, everything over log V. And V, we saw that V was 0, 0,48. So it is going to be 0, 0,48. Just like that, you can have the value of N. So let's use our calculator to simplify this at once. All right, so this is a fraction. You put in log a fraction like this. So that's 18, 3 over 2000. So you divide by 2000 like this. Okay, everything over the logarithm of 0, 0,48 like that. Okay, so that's it. We are going to have 6, 3, 9, 5, 3 like that. So to three decimal places, it's going to be 3, 9, 5. So it's going to be 6, 3, 9, 5. Okay, so that's the possible value of any that we can have from this uh, simplification if we are to simplify uh, properly in this manner. So you have to be very, very careful, guys, when dealing with these typical questions, you just choose which way is easier for you. Yes, you can just substitute the values at once, or you can do this way, making n the subject, then after making n to be the subject, then you can substitute the values that you are given, uh, that, uh, that you are given on that in that manner. Okay, so that's what we had, guys. That was uh, actually question number three from this question paper, and it's actually having 13 marks. These are a lot of marks, guys. Do not play with these marks. There are a lot of marks. So not to play with these marks, you have to revise in time. This is the right time to do your revisions as much as you can maximize your revision, question papers, uh, textbooks. If there are any questions that are having challenge, let us yeah, feel free to mention them in the comment section so that we can visit those areas and work them as a family. From Amazon African Motives, till we meet again.